So we have a ton of leaks from Season 3 of Modern Warfare Zombies, and yes, I'm going to go over the PvP rumors. Now, of course, take all of these leaks with a grain of salt because they can change at any time. But to start off, it seems we're getting a brand new warlord named Rainmaker that uses artillery, a new act mission with a new cutscene and intel, with new rift objects to then unlock the new Dark Aether Rift that will then be tasked to unlock after that. Speaking of which, the new rift is rumored to be at the Zarqua Hydroelectric from Almazra. Now on the topic of the rift items, there are strings of code that seem to reference that these items might give the player permanent or temporary buffs as they are labeled with speed, damage, and vision. Now we will also be getting four new schematics that are all tied to the four warlords. The beret from Legacy, the gas mask from Carries, some sort of mod from Dokubi, maybe new ammo type, and finally the vest from Rainmaker. Now potentially these items could also give us temporary buffs as there's no description of what they might do. Now we're evidently going to be getting a bunch of new contracts as well. They are Relic Hunt, which says we will be tasked with finding new relics with some sort of device, a helicopter convoy similar to the truck convoys driving around the map currently, a helicopter cargo contract similar similar to the one in Outbreak that tasks you with taking down a single helicopter which would drop decent loot. A hostage contract, essentially the one from DMZ. An unnamed defense contract that seems to work the same as the ground defense contract right now, but instead of AI, you'll have zombies. Some sort of race contract, something called a soul lock contract, which seems to function identical to the Outbreak golden chest contract. This would require you to get more and more kills inside of the area, and the more you did, the better your reward would be. And finally, a boat cargo delivery, which functions exactly as the LTV cargo delivery, just on a boat. The next Next leaks indicate a drivable helicopter, armor crates, as well as ammo crates, two new acts for a total of six, a possible new ammo mod called Shadow Vortex, but this could potentially still be cut. And second to last, we have the ever requested wallet feature. Don't know why this wasn't in here from DMZ to start with, but hey, at least it's coming in. Now last, but certainly not least, the feature that everybody has been clamoring about. Is PvP coming to the game? Well, according to data miners, it's looking like a yes. They have found strings of code inside of the game files that reference a separate PvPVE mode. So don't worry, you don't have to play this if you don't want to. Now, of course, one final thing I want to give a shout out to COD Zombie News, Semtex Leaks, COD Warfare Forum, Alan the Third underscore 90, and Hey I'm Alex for all of this leak information. That's enough out of me. You guys now know what to potentially look forward to in the new season update. Let me know down in the comments what you're most excited about and tell me how you feel about this PvPVE mode. Other than that, hit that like and that follow and I'll see you guys around the live or in the Discord.